Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square fully inscribed in a green uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, this uh, green triangle uh, ABC is at the top of this uh, pink uh, square. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, blue square is uh, 36 uh, centimeter square, whereas the area of this uh, pink square is 676 uh, centimeter square. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, pink uh, square whose area has been given to us as 676 uh, centimeter square. And now let's go ahead and calculate the side length uh, of this uh, pink square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S uh, square, where S represents the side length of the square. Let's go ahead and calculate the side length uh, of this uh, pink square. So I'm going to write down S uh, square equal to the area has been given to us as 676. Now let's go ahead and take the square root uh, on both uh, sides to undo this uh, square. So therefore our side length uh, S turns out to be 26 uh, centimeter. So the side length uh, of this uh, pink square turns out to be 26 uh, across uh, the board as you can see. And here's our next step. Now let's focus uh, on this uh, blue square whose area has been given to us as 36 uh, centimeter square. Now let's go ahead and calculate the side length of this uh, blue square. And we are going to use once again uh, this area of a square formula. So therefore I can write uh, S square equal to 36. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore side length uh, S uh, turns out to be 6 uh, centimeter. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, blue square uh, turns out to be 6 uh, centimeter. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, length uh, AB is uh, 26. And now we are going to focus uh, on this uh, part uh, only. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram where this uh, AB length uh, is uh, 26 and this uh, FG length uh, is uh, 6. And just keep in your mind that both of these uh, sides are symmetric uh, to each other with respect to this uh, vertical uh, red axis. So that means uh, this uh, side length uh, AF uh, is going to be equal to this side length uh, GB. And now the whole length is uh, 26 and we're going to subtract uh, this part from uh, this 26. So that is going to give us uh, 20. And now let's divide this uh, by 2. So that means equals to 10. So that means this uh, AF length is going to be 10. And likewise, this length uh, GB is uh, 10 centimeter as well. And now in this uh, next step, I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular CQ. As you can see over here, that passes through this point uh, P. And since uh, this uh, side uh, DE is uh, 6, and since uh, they are uh, symmetric to each other, so therefore uh, this uh, length uh, DP is going to be 3, and this uh, PE is going to be 3 centimeter as well. And now let's make an observation since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded region. So we can see that the green shaded uh, region area is going to be the area of this uh, whole uh, triangle ABC minus uh, the area of this uh, blue square. And we know that the area of this uh, blue square is uh, 36. So now our only task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, a, B, C. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And we know that the base uh, of this uh, triangle uh, A, B, C is uh, 26. So our only task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, height uh, C, Q. But we know that this uh, P, Q length uh, is same as this uh, E, G length. So this is uh, 6. So our only task is uh, to calculate this uh, tiny 
length uh, c p as you can see over here and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two right triangles one triangle is uh, afd the other triangles is uh, dpc and now we can see that uh, these are uh, two right triangle uh, triangle dpc and the triangle afd are uh, similar triangles according to angle uh, angle uh, similarity theorem since uh, this uh, angle is uh, congruent to this angle since they are corresponding angles and uh, these angles are uh, congruent as well since they are corresponding angles as well and since they are uh, similar so we're going to have a proportion that means we're going to have a ratio of uh, cp divided by dp this uh, ratio cp and dp is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, d f and a f let me go and write down d f divided by a f well, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got uh, c p divided by d p in our case is 3 equals to d f in our case is 6 divided by 10 now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 3 to isolate uh, cp and we can see that this uh, 3 and 3 is gone so cp turns out to be 18 uh, divided by 10 so that means our cp length uh, turns out to be 1.8 uh, centimeter so therefore our this uh, cp length uh, turns out to be 1.8 and now since we figured out our cp length so now we are going to calculate our height uh, cq we know that this uh, length uh, pq is uh, 6 and this length uh, is uh, 1.8 let's go ahead and add them up if we add them our cq length is going to be 6 uh, plus 1.8 and that is going to give us uh, 7.8 so therefore our height uh, cq turns out to be 7.8 and we already know the base uh, of this uh, triangle abc is uh, 26 and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle abc and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half times the base times height in our case our base is uh, 26 and our height is uh, 7.8 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle abc is going to be a half times the base is 26 times height is 7.8 and if we simplify the right hand side the area of triangle ABC turns out to be 101.4 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, grain shaded region we already figured out our ABC triangle area which is uh, 100 1.4 and we know already the area of this uh, blue square which is uh, 36 so i'm going to replace it uh, by 36 so therefore i'm going to just fill in the blanks uh, 101.4 uh, minus uh, 36 and that is going to be equal to 65.4 uh, centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, green shattered region uh, turns out to be 65.4 centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye